What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension for architecture video. So in today's video, we're continuing our series on SketchUp extensions for architecture. Um, over the last few weeks, we've talked about extensions that do everything from creating windows to helping you create smart assemblies that'll fill in framing to extensions that'll create roofs, just a lot of things that have great applications for architecture. So today's extension is an extension for creating detailed cabinets and casework inside of SketchUp. Um, the link for this extension and for the other extensions that we're going to be talking about in this series can be found inside my architecture extensions guide, which you can download at the sketchupessentials.com slash architecture extensions. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so one of the more time consuming things you can do inside of SketchUp is trying to model out cabinets yourself. So you can come in here and you can model out things like uh, you can model out things like your depth of cabinet and uh, you can do all this manually by creating a box like this and push pulling it up to whatever height you want and then uh, coming in here and uh, grouping that and modeling out different doors and windows and things like that but that just gets really time consuming I mean you can definitely do it um, but if you want to get into any level of detail or anything like that you're just going to be doing a lot of manual editing and like you like you can see here you can definitely do that but um, um, it's just a lot of stuff to manage and honestly you can spend a lot of time modeling out cabinets and uh, that can get a little bit frustrating at least it has for me in the past so you can see how I could just model out this profile and then delete this and copy the face it just all gets kind of messy coming in here and doing this there's probably a slightly smarter way to do this but you can definitely do that however today's extension allows you to customize just about everything about a cabinet um, without you having to go in and model all of those parts and pieces manually and the nice thing about that is today's extension also creates all the edges and the framing pieces and things like that um, inside of your cabinets as well so these are actually like real world size to what your cabinets would actually be. And so I will note this is a paid extension. Um, the architecture extensions guide, which I talked about before, contains information on both paid and free extensions. And I do note all of those costs inside of that guide. So again, remember to check that out at the sketchupessentials.com slash architecture extensions. Um, but to, in today's video, we're going to talk about GKWare Cabinet Maker. And so basically what this is, is this is an extension that you can purchase that allows you to customize just about everything having to do with a cabinet and so the way it works is fairly simple um, you just install the extension and then you can see how there's a menu with a lot of different things in here we're gonna focus specifically on the cabinet creator for today's video and I'm doing this more in the sense of we're looking at this from an architectural standpoint where you can come in and model all of your cabinets and so once you run this you can come in here and you can adjust all of the different specifications of your cabinets so like for example you can set if this is a base or or an upper cabinet and then I'm just gonna click in here you can kind of scroll through and you can see in the context help on the right you can create all of these different kinds so sink cabinets tall cabinets bases uppers uh, fridge cabinets just about anything you can think of that would be a cabinet you can create with this extension and so for example let's go ahead and let's just create a standard cabinet well what you can do is you can come in here and you can adjust your width as well as your height of your cabinet, as well as your depth. So you can see how one, one of the really helpful things about this extension is when you mouse over these different things, it actually gives you a context image of what changing that will actually adjust. So you can see how you can adjust all of your different shelves and your doors and all of those different things. And you can also see what adjusting these things is gonna do. So like for example, if I change this to one door, you can see how this gives you an image of one door in the upper right hand corner. If I change this to two, you can see how this is going to create a two-door cabinet. Um, you can also adjust the number of panels on that. Um, just a lot of different things in here. And uh, so what we're going to do is we'll go through and we'll set this up where it has probably one drawer. 
Um, you can adjust if this is a single drawer across the top or if it's a side-by-side -side drawer. And um, so we'll go ahead and leave those as is. And so just to give you an idea of what this does, once you set these settings, when you click OK, you just come in here and you click inside of your model in order to place these cabinets. And so you can see how this cabinet gets dropped in here. And there's a little bit we need to adjust with the handles and things like that, but you can see how that was really easy. And if we take a look at this, um, it probably even gets into a little too much detail for what we're trying to do inside of our SketchUp models from an architectural standpoint. But the nice thing about this is this actually creates all of the different parts and pieces. So this is an actual realistic sized cabinet that you can use in your models. So you can see how this actually has all the side pieces. It actually has all the drawers and things like that. And uh, you can come in here and if you wanted to, you could like rotate this door and you'd probably have to break this out a little bit differently. Um, but you can see how you can actually open this up and see the inside construction of the cabinet. I'd probably have to break out the door separate from this drawer to truly get that, but you can see how the level of detail in here is just uh, really good for these cabinets. And so let's go back through and let's look at some more of the options contained inside this extension. So there are tabs across the top that contain all of these different things that you can adjust. So, and I'm I'm talking literally anything you could think of when it comes to cabinets, unless you're like a super high level cabinet maker. Um, I, I can't think of a thing that you would want to adjust on a cabinet that isn't contained in this list, but you can adjust things like your materials. So you can come in here and this actually comes with a library of different materials um, that you can adjust. So for example, and one of the things I like about this is you can actually adjust the cabinets that you've created by right clicking on them and just going to edit cabinet. But like for example, let's say we wanted this to be maybe more of there's like a bamboo material or there's like a cherry or a brown oak. There's just a ton of different options in here. Well, you can go ahead and select these and adjust these and click OK. You can see how that's actually going to come in here and that's going to edit your material inside of the cabinet maker. And uh, so you can adjust all of those different things as well as things like your style of your door. So if we go in here and we look at our door style, you can see if I click on this, and this is usually how I scroll through these, is I don't go through and click on each one of them. Instead, what I do is I click inside this box and then I use my mouse to move up and down. But you can see how I can preview all of these different styles that are contained in here. And so once you select whatever style you want to use in here, um, you can go in and you can add your cabinet and you can see how you can create different styles of wood inside of this cabinet using the options. And so another nice thing contained inside this extension is it contains a library of different things like handles and pulls um, that you can, uh, so you can adjust the way that this hardware goes onto this cabinet. So you can see how you can adjust. Um, there's a ton of different hardware in here that can make these look, that can significantly adjust the way that all of this is going to look. So you can select a different kind of handle and um, you can set the doors different or the same. So I could go down here to this handle too and then click OK and you can see how that's going to adjust out and apply different material on here. And you may need to do just a little bit of adjustment on how that gets placed in here depending on the profile that you select. Um, but it's not really that big of a deal to do that. So I can just move this until it's flush with that face and you can see how now I have this kind of uh, this kind of hardware contained on this cabinet. So just a ton of stuff that you can adjust in here and it's really fast, which is what I like. You don't have to spend a lot of time figuring out what these profiles are gonna look like or anything like that. And so let's say for example that we created copies of these different cabinets. So if I made a copy across here, so we have multiple different cabinets and type in like times two or something like that. Let's say that we have multiple copies of a cabinet in here. Well, you can come in here and you can edit these and you can adjust the project settings. So you can come in here and you can adjust the, 
you can adjust the drawer handles for the whole thing. You can adjust your base handles for the whole thing. And you could also adjust things like your materials. And because these are all set with the project settings, if I click OK, these are all going to adjust at the same time. Meaning you don't have to come in here and adjust each one of these manually if you decide to adjust the styles or the hardware or anything like that. You can just do that across the whole project, which can be a huge time saver because as you know, a lot of the time you do end up making changes and doing that manually can really be a, a time consuming thing. So there are a lot of things that make this extension great for woodworking as well. I'm not going to get into those today. Just know that this can also create reports and different things like that for the different parts and pieces. I'm focusing specifically on this extension from an architectural standpoint. So this can be a great time saver when working with cabinets inside your models. But leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought about this extension. I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.